Okay, unironically though, this game's music is starting to get burned into my skull, and I don't like that. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, it looks like we're gonna go on a hot losing streak on Battle 1 because of the infinite water types I'm looking at, huh? Well, that's kind of sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. What I am witnessing right now on the screen is completely diabolical, if I say so myself, alright? I don't know about y'all, but this, this team right here that I'm about to battle, it looks more sketchy than... Well, it doesn't look as sketchy as NFT people trying to plug NFTs into video games, because they're obviously trying to scam, but still. But still. Alright. We have a gator, huh? I have a plan. I'm gonna sack Primple up first. I'm gonna get the second Intimidate, and I'm going to dance in my man's face. And he is not gonna enjoy it, alright? Observe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Hey, you remember how I had a plan? Uh, I think it's all fucked now. Hmm, I wonder. It's fine, this doesn't kill unless he's cheating. See, we're good, we're fine. You're overreacting. Print up, literally just hit it. Physically, just hit it! This game's bullshit. It's bullshit. I, 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 I mean, like, why does it, like, always do this? Just one, just one double team is all it takes to lose, ev miss every single attack because you just miss the entire game. That's single, it's literally all it takes. Oh boy, I do not enjoy what's going on right now. Oh wow, I got a hit off. Lucky me, Primplup. Good job, you're so cool. Okay, unironically though, this thing could just sit here and just spam a... It could just sit here and spam a double team the entire time, but it's throwing with only plus one. Bit of a problem if you ask me personally. I think they're throwing. Alright, my game plan is off to a phenomenal start. I'm going to miss my first attack with Gyarados and I'm going to get crit. Or I'm just going to get crit because the game's cheating. Alright, anyways. I'm not mad. You are. Come on, brother. I don't think you seem to understand the struggle I've gone through, alright? After yesterday's shenanigans... Yeah, for those who didn't watch, um, I started screaming at a video game. I screamed at another one, and yeah, that was about it. Listen, dude, I don't think after how Among Us went last night and how fucking Black Ops Cold War still exists, I don't think there's ever going to be a point where I'm genuinely thrilled with uh, not complaining, alright? I don't think it'll be hard to reach that point anytime soon. I I'm still salty about how those games went, man. It was just bullshit. Just like how this guy got the guaranteed defense draw. The, the, the 10%. He's got Serene Grace. He's got... You know what? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're hacking, you're hacking. Listen, he just had a crit script running. I was going to lose 100% of the time. It wasn't my fault. We were not on equal footing the way it was supposed to be, okay? Cool, I'm glad we got that point aside. Anyways! Um, this team looks sketchy. I do have a max speed Mammoth Swine I can try to make do here. With his 143, you know, against base 100 speed Typhlosion and whatever the fuck Ninetales has. Yeah, that'll work out in the end. Uh, what's the game plan, though? I think Mag is pretty good here. Mag puts the hurt on uh, Empoleon, and I guess it resists Scramble entirely. Ain't bad, ain't bad at all. Alright, let's try this one out. I think, personally, I have just came up with the greatest strategy of all time. Now watch one crit ruin the entire plan. Observe. I don't. I, listen. I think you're new around here. I don't think you seem to understand how this goes. Okay, guys. Unironically, though, you don't want to find stupid as shit. That video titled "The Forgotten Evolution." Why the hell does that have like over a thousand views? Like, legitimately, why does it have over a thousand views? There was nothing special about that video. There was physically nothing good about it. Hold on. Let me just look at the proper numbers right now. 1.6k. Why is that a thing? There is no reason for that. There is no reason for that, alright? Listen, if you've participated in watching that video, I'm just gonna say it. Thank you, first of all. But you're being a part of the problem, and that is not okay. Oh no, I might actually get outsped by this one. I lied. <laughs> I lied. Dude, Max Speed Mammo kinda nutty. Oh, he still dies now. That's cringe. 
Or not, because he's wasting his turn. That is unless it's a speed tie, then he's hacking. Okay, I'm curious on something. Okay, good, good. Alright. I had to check something just to see if uh, a certain title theming was, uh, you know, functional in that department. It turns out, that is not why that video took off. Good. Good, you know, just compare that to main channel real quick. Alright. With another video titled, The Forgotten Something. Insane. Truly insane. Alright, let's go. What am I clicking now? Uh, am I trading Infernape for Typhlosion? I think I am. No, I don't care about this damn Ninetales. Screw off. It was Bright Powder, too. Could have been sketchy. What is this? Bold? Unironically, though, bold ain't half bad. Um, this Infernape sucks, by the way. Still trying to get rid of them. It's never gonna happen, though. Um, what the fuck is this team? Here's the deal, okay? I see a great lead. It's called Use Mammoth Swine, right? It beats Jolteon. It beats Rhydon. It beats Pikachu. It should be Crobat. Don't know if it's gonna be running some kind of, like, King's Rock on Air, uh, Brave Bird or some shit and just cheat. Let's grab Pikachu, because it can beat with Floatzel. Oh, do I go Magir or Metagross? Okay, I... The thing is, I think I need Metagross exclusively for Rhydon. Rhydon's genuinely concerned, because um, I'm I'm, one, I, I'm curious if uh, Mamoswine doesn't quite one-shot it. If, that's, if that happens and Mamoswine dies in one turn, that's a bit of a problem. If I choose Magnezone, it makes my matchups against everything else a lot easier, but makes that one significantly worse. And that is the lead. All right. I could go for the turn one flinch, but that's kind of cringe. I'm just going to smack it really hard. I'm going to play the game properly, as we think. Good. Good. As it should be. Not a damage range. Just me coming out on top is as it should be, all right? That's all that matters. Yo, big man. Bye. Be gone. Cringe, that makes no difference, buddy. Is this gonna work? Okay, good. Got it working. Dude. Guys, it finally happened. I got rid of that damn insect that will not leave me alone. It's finally gone. You know, I accidentally unplugged the mic in the process of killing it. But I'm free! I'm free! Listen, I was bitching about that thing for like a week. Actually, no. It was here for like a week and I only bitched about it yesterday in the Among Us session, right? It's finally gone! I have been set free from this cringe. Although, I might not be set from a losing streak if I can't blow up this turn. Because he's going to kill me with a water move. In the Okay, he's wasting his turn. Never mind. He needed a quick surf to have a chance. I don't even know if crit surf would have killed. Granted, Floatzel's pretty mediocre stat spread. Oh, that feels so good. Finally. Never have to think about that damn thing popping around again. Jumping on walls and shit and flying. That's awesome. Ah, oh, dude. Getting rid of an insect like this is the greatest feeling in the world. That's all I'm saying. It is just simply the greatest thing of all time. Listen, I think I would rather do that than win the lottery. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Shut up. Nobody's saying that. True, because then you can just move and not have to worry about them ever again. Alright, what's the game plan here? I think I take Jolteon every time here. Oh, is he a Thunder? Oh, fucking Christ, he's a Thunderbolt. Oh! <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy fucking shit! It's Focus Ash 2 with Thunderbolt Modest? <laughs> that thing's insane. That is the most insane thing I have ever laid my eyes on in my fucking life. That is without a doubt the best Jolteon I have ever seen in this game. It is not even close. It is physically actually good. And that is unironically what makes him work. 
This is just disgusting gameplay. Alright, what's my game plan here? I'm thinking Mammo plus Typhlosion does pretty good here. Actually, there's a few rock types. I'm bringing Mag or Me no, Metagross for uh, extra safety here. At this point, I don't know if I want to try to trade off Muck or not. Just in general, because uh, I don't want to risk losing this Jolteon, bro. He's insane. He's so fucking cracked. Dude, that is it. Listen. If there was any run that I wanted to win so badly before in my life, it is absolutely this one. And it's not even close. Oh, that shit is insane. Okay. That is a bit of a problem, actually. Um, okay. Let me think this through. What does he do to Metagross? Here's the thing. I can switch to Typhlosion, but it'll put up Sun and hit me with a fat Psychic next turn, right? Big problem. Actually, that actually doesn't sound that bad, actually. That actually doesn't sound half bad. Okay, Energy Ball, that's why I switch. I absolutely did not want to stay in on that. Alright, my game plan's simple. I'm gonna go for the 90 accuracy move instead of anything else. Because that would be the... Cr there it is, there's a miss. Called it. Called it! I was right, you're just... Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be some free sun. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Hey, um, you got to stop right there, pal. Okay, good. 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 Die. Literally just get crit or something. I don't care. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're hacking. And I don't even get the boost. Yeah, he's cheating, all right. Dude, I don't care what happens. I just want this to be a successful run. And considering I'm already down in Infernape, what the fuck is that? I just saw another insect floating around this, my screen. I think my eyes might be cursed. Or this room is compromised to fucking hell and back. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways, while well, the executor is gone, I actually hit it. Um, buddy, I don't know what you're supposed to do. This might even kill. I'm not going for it though. Just in case. Why would you ever click that? Probably doesn't have, like, Earthquake. Probably doesn't, all things considered. And now he dies! Okay, depending on what the next Mon is, I might be able to get a perfect point here, and if that happens, that is absolutely fucking insane if it can. Holy shit. Dude. I know I've given Jolteon a bunch of shit on this channel before, for being useless and it missing every Thunder ever possible, but when I don't even have to click it, because it actually has a good move. That's how you know. Like, this is definitely a tier 2 mon right here. Out of 5 tiers, 5 being the worst, 1 being the best. Like, this is a solid 2. Because, you know, tier 1's like, beaten out by giants like Gyarados and Blissey. And Alakazam. And Infernape. But, you know, ignoring that. We're not trading. That's bad. All those mons kind of are beans, let's be honest. Let's be 100% honest with ourselves. Weavile. Ugh, it's a, it's a singles Weavile, though. Those things are kind of uh, ass, yeah. They're kind of bad. Why does every team have Pikachu? What is the point? Okay, here's my question, though. What is actually good in this matchup? I think Jolteon doesn't even sound half bad here. It just lets me hit everything really hard and, you know, outspeed everything. I think Gallade's really the big thing Jolteon has to worry about. I mean, Torterra, obviously. But at that point, I just switched to, like, Mamoswine. And then what? Get hit by, like, Crunch? <laughs> you get, let him set up Sandstorm for me? That'd be great. I think Mamoswine's the go-to lead because I need a way to beat Pikachu. It's probably my safest option for Weavile, too. Actually, no, Mag uh, Magnezone's easily the safest option for that. Actually, why don't I lead Mamos... Oh, Mag okay, yeah, we'll bring Magnezone. This ain't a bad map for uh, Battle for Muck, though. But, like, what do I trade for? Like, what, what what's the trade for? Glade? Maybe? I think Typhlosion or Metagross is, like, the last mod I need. Um, uh... Meta. Alright. Metagross can blow up on something. Who knows? Like, if Torterra is, like, the last thing it has to be in on, then by all means explode on it. Let's be honest. You gotta play your cards carefully. And not having a water type is actually extremely crappy, but you know what? I'm making it work. I don't have a water type, right? I'm not just imagining this. Weavile, um, I know what move I'm clicking right here. I don't know about you. 
I know exactly what I'm going for. Shadow Claw, Faint Attack, right? Honestly, that's about just as bad, except their stab. And less of a crit rate, which is awesome. A goodbye, friend, unless you're Sash and cheating, alright? You're, che you're the worst, you're the worst, you're the worst, you're hacking, alright. What's the gameplay? Oh, he, he was not Sash. Hmm. Hmm, I, I wonder. Okay, well, now he's done being extremely cringe. I don't know why they had to go like that, but alright. Good, no crits, love to see it. Alright, no Bright Powder, no Razor Fang. No King's Rock. No Tim Item. <laughs> no Razor Claw, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. No Custap Berry. <laughs> Shut up. I don't think anything in this is actually capable of carrying Custap. Like, unironically. Oh, I gotta hit this thing really hard right now, actually. I have to hit it. And then I have to bring in Metagross next, which is kind of annoying, but I have no choice. Technically, I would have had a choice at that crit, but um, I'm not so lucky today, am I? Why? You CC, buddy. You are so cringe. Whatever. It's working in my favor. This guy's team is still bad and still super cringe. Which is exactly what I need to pull this through. Actually, Metagross, I don't know if I have to click the 90 here, but your other moves are kind of ass. So I kind of have to click it here. Thankfully for me, Glade just doesn't really click good moves. You know, thankfully it's not carrying the only good fighting type move it has. The only good one, yeah. Unironically though, Brick Break kind of nice in Gen 8, alright? Watch Lappers set up them screens and just smash them. That G-Max Resonance ain't got shit on Brick Break or Psychic Fangs, man. That's all I'm saying. Alright, what is it? Oh, lucky me. I'll explode, it's safe. This is a plus attack mana gross, I'm fine. It's even a non-resistant target. I don't care how good your physical defense is, and you're probably not carrying Earthquake anyway. It is why I brought Metagross. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Anyways, that went very well, huh? Unironically, though. This is why I need a water type. I'm really concerned about the fire type trainer, all things considered. If he does show up, I'm kind of giga turbo uber fucked, alright? And my Jolteon might be in peril. I mean, I do have a fast Mammoth Swine, but like, ugh. I don't want to leave that up to a bunch of speed tie calcs. Not speed ties, but you know, being minus. Like, look at this. It doesn't even have an ice move. That's what makes this thing so bad. Because singles doesn't prioritize ice punch as a move. It prioritizes fucking Shadow Claw. So it, it might just have a, a full move set of four bad moves. Maybe. Um, there is a bunch of... Ooh, what the fuck do I do about that Zam, actually? Unironically, though, what do I do there? Alright, I think Mammoth for Weavile as a lead is strong. Last time, Ninetales survived an Earthquake from Mammoth Swine, but that basically came down to being plus defense. I could actually go Typhlosion here. Because Zam should just knock me right into Blaze. I got 104 special defense. I should be fine. I mean, I don't threaten Ninetales, though. Which is why I want to use this, because it kind of just walls Ninetales. But I don't threaten it back, which is a bit of a problem. I think I might have to leave Mammo here. I think Mammo... I think I need Mag for Zam. That thing's just too strong. And if it's Specs, I can probably live a few moves. I'll resist everything you can have. Oh, like Metagross, which does not have that luxury. And I think, unironically, I do need Jolteon here. It's Jolteon or Typhlosion. Yeah, we'll do Jolteon. Alright. Unironically, though, this is going to be the biggest bloodbath yet. Unless they leave Jolteon to have, like... Oh, have, like... Not Jolteon. But I'm, I'm tongue twisted right now. Unless they have, like, their, their Weavile lead and then, like, Umbreon in, like, the back somewhere, then maybe it won't be uh, that bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I even afford to switch here? I mean, I can't afford to stay in. I gotta switch out. If... Like, what does he go for here? It's always Psychic, right? Which I, I resist, which is fine. If it's Shadow Ball and he specs into it, then I'm more than good with that. 
I doubt it'd be specs. Okay, pal, chill out. Oh my god, it does so fucking much. Holy shit. That was like all of my health. Do it again. Alright, buddy, all you have to do is just not die. Okay, good. That was just so much fucking damage. That was so bad. And now the only thing, I, the only way I get mileage out of Mag is Quick Claw. That's the worst part. I only get mileage out of him from a 20% chance. It's kind of rough, all things considered. Yeah, I kind of led for Weavile specifically, even though uh, Magnezone kind of resists him. All right, I need to bring Jolteon in on the Jolteon. Yeah, Jolteon, Jolteon in on it. I don't think that actually mattered because, uh, yeah, Pro Pass is kind. Probo, fuck. Stop being illiterate, please. Dustnor is pretty fucking slow. Okay, he would have got paralyzed and lost his turn. That's all I'm saying. Definitely would have happened. Anyways, that's more than fine. I got a shit ton of damage off on him. Actually, I think I could just bring in Mammoth Swine here. It took a fuck ton of damage. Honestly, I think it might just be safer if Mammo comes in here and just smashes the stamp thing. Let me look at the stats real quick. Wrong one. 181, 176. This will definitely be stronger. All right, let's go for it. Bring the big guy in. Unironically, though, I need to stop saying unironically. But all things considered, focus sash on that Jolteon is just not okay. Like it turns my Gyarados check into a Gyarados counter if I lead off correctly against it. Dragon Dance, all you want. It will not matter. Oh. I mean, I should always survive one hit from this. And if I don't, and Giga Impact crits me, I'm more than fine. Because then Jolteon just kills it. I don't like being this much slower than it, though. Uh, hey, Mammoth Swine, you want to crit this thing real quick? That'd be awesome and, like, cool. Alright, that's cringe. You're cheating. You're stupid. I hate you. You're annoying. You'll miss? Why does my Tauros miss every- actually, my Tauros has been pretty good on uh, hitting takedowns, all things considered. Like, I was gonna complain about it for a minute, but then I realized... Mine usually hits. Typically, usually. I don't think I really recall it ever missing. Alright, Jolteon. Buddy. I mean, I'm Sash, I'm more than fine, actually. It's good. But I would prefer to be faster in case of, like, Zen headbutt bullshit. Oh, this is not okay. Okay, I'm still faster. We're good. This is not okay. The god Jolteon has joined the party. And he's actually gonna put in some work. Disgusting. Like, I don't know how you can make this Jolteon better. Modest is fucking insane. And he's already fast as shit. The only thing that can come to mind is Timid. But I don't even think that damage trade off's worth it. I really don't think it's worth it. Holy fuck. Um, I didn't bring any trade bait. How good is this actually? I'm, I'm curious. I didn't click trade game. Quit pretending I mashed that. It was specs. It plus yeah, it, it, it was modest plus special attack. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, that is not okay. <laughs> Spec psychic modest is just not okay. Nothing about that was fine. Yeah, I think there was a chance that Mammoth Swine just fucking died to that thing, all things considered. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he was probably giga uber fucked. Alright, this team is actually incredibly terrifying. I might have to blow up on Kingdra. I think Metagross is mandatory here. I think Mammoth Swine, Jolteon, and Metagross are the three I have to use here. I don't think there's any other way around this team. Rhyperior is a huge fucking problem. Metagross can beat Tangrowth 1v1, it can beat Altaria 1v1. But I'm gonna have to switch out of Rhyperior probably. At that point, I don't know what- I mean, I'll be mating like Earthquake, right? I might just have to Meteor Mash it and then pray, right? If that's a lead, I'm like kind of uber fucked. Okay, what is the scariest lead here? That's what- That's the next comparison I need to think- Oh, next thing I have to think about. Lapras? I'm not really concerned about it as a lead. Although I kind of lack switches. Um, I could lead Jolteon, even though that makes Electivire a problem. What's your ability? It's like Volt Absorb, right? That could come in handy for Electivire, but like, I'd have to have Metagross on the field at that point. 
And then it might just have Earthquake. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might have to lead Mammo here. It kills Altaria. It... Tangro is such a problem, but I feel like I can just switch out of that pretty freely. It hits uh, right here. You're uh, very hard. Might even kill it. Probably not, actually. It's a solid rock. Even then, I think if that's the case, it is the most stackable mon I have. Despite how great it wins against those. Because Jolteon can smash Altaria. Metagross can destroy Tangrowth. Alright, let's go for it. And I still have not traded Muck, and it's literally just not going to happen at this point. I'm sorry. It was intended to happen, but we're not getting anywhere near that point. <laughs> Whoops. But hey, we still got a final battle that could change everything. Not really. <laughs> let's be honest. I don't know if the final battle is going to change that much. Um, shit. Both corners are so full of I don't know if I can beat this lead, actually. I have to get the explosion. That's the only way I win is by blowing up on it. Oh, I should have considered the Kanger lead a little harder. You are so cringe for choosing this lead, buddy. Missed? Good. 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 You're being fair for once. Thank you. All right. Blow up. Okay, that is terrifying. This is why I'm glad it just wasted its turn. Because if that thing were to sit here and just start auto critting me for simply existing for 0.4 seconds, we're going to have a bit of a problem. But thankfully, I outsmarted him by killing him that turn. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Mammo leads what I figured to be the safest here, so um, I would assume it'd be the safest again to bring him back out. Because Lapras is the only mod I'm really concerned about, and at that point, I just kind of lose to it now. If it has to come out here. Okay, good. I, this thing just dies. It dies. I don't know if it threatens me at all. How the hell are you faster? I am max speed, buddy. Hello. We gotta knock that off right now. Alright, anyway, he dies now. Good good for you. I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing. But personally, I just do not approve of it. That's all I'm saying. I, I just... Like, why is he faster? Chill out. Oh, no! I could have traded off Muck and I chose to bring Jolteon for backup. That's cringe. Why is everything so fast? Chill out. Dude, this is a max speed mammo. Can you stop? <laughs> just accept your fate and just get frozen or something. I don't know. Die. Yeah, that works. And hey, look at that. We're at the point in the battle where I get to proceed and play a game. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're so close. Please don't choke now. I am lacking if... Here's the thing, what I lack for in fighting types, though, I make up for in normal resists, which is kind of huge. Um, I never trade for these. These are kind of beans for mons, even though they're kind of fast. This one's pretty good. It's not toxic. Bold cane shirt with toxic ain't half bad. Razor Claw, and he was fast as shit with Rock Slide. It's a speed tie. Ew. Stop. I think Mam's mine is like 154. I could be wrong. Something along that range. Oh, I hate this so much. So here's the thing. We know Snorlax Tauros already as a core is the sweatiest shit you have ever seen in your life. I don't actually know if I can win now. I actually do not think I win. Because Tauros, sure, choice banned. But my skills mean nothing if I can't resist it, right? I can blow up and kill Snorlax turn one. Okay, 2v2. I don't have a mon that answers all of the Pokemon down there. Because again, if that Infernus Ape is plus speed, Mammoth Swine loses. If that Blaze against plus speed, Mammoth Swine probably loses. We'll have to see and find out. I think Jolteon's my last safe pick. Because he should be faster than everything and be able to put the pain on Tauros and Star after. I think that's the only thing I could really logically bring as the last Mon if I don't have a... Well, if I have Mammoth Swine as like my backup Mon for the uh, second Mon. This is sketchy as shit, dude. Holy fucking shit. This team is so fucking sweaty, it's not even okay. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep the muck then. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, Snorlax. From the blue corner, I just need you to roll over right now. No Quick Claw. No Earthquake Crits. That is what I want to see. But yeah, Earthquake, obviously, that's why I'm not staying in on this. I'm just making sure it dies immediately. I refuse to stay in on it. 
easily the most annoying mod. I think it's better to have it for that 1v1 trade at the beginning, though, because it's just way easier to work around. All right, let's bring in Mamo. Actually, having to switch out here is kind of bad if Tauros comes out first. I have to put this thing in right now. Plus, this gives me extra safety for uh, the second mod. Yeah. Hey, buddy, if you can click close combat, that'd be lovely. Faster, love to see it. Paralyze? Crit? That's lame. Okay, paralyze still. The cringe, flare blitz, no burn, please, no burn, it's all it takes. Just don't burn. Uh, is Infernape dead here? Sash, love to see it. And he's dead, cool. That actually gives me a lot more backup for Tauros, because now uh, I, got, I still have Mammoth Spine alive. That is way better than trying to risk us. That is way better than trying to risk a Mammoth Spine against that thing. Because now again, I still have that paralysis chance on this thing, unless it's like Bright Powder or some shit. Hit him, pal. It's time. It's time, crit. Para? That is just not okay. That is not okay. Nothing about this is fine. Jolteon, my boy, you are insane. Unironically, though, the god Jolteon has joined us. Holy fucking shit, dude. That is a lot of damage. And now, if all things go according to plan, I would outspeed this and just kill it. If the second plan goes according to plan, it just misses takedown if it's faster. Yeah, okay, Miss didn't have a- see? My second plan came to fruition. My third plan was just dodge and crit, by the way. <laughs> dodge crit, dodge flinch. I mean, I'm like, definitely surprised I got to keep the Schulte on, just straight up. That thing was too fucking insane. All things considered, the redemption of Jolteon has arrived. The the redemption has happened. Listen, I hate him because he he just never hits. But holy fucking shit, when you actually have an electric move that's actually good, you don't even care, bro. Captivate. I don't actually know what that thing would ever do. But thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Next is episode two hundred. Good shit.